A former director of the Bureau of Land Management says the proposed management plan for 3.6 million acres of public land in Wyoming could be unconstitutional. A bear oil couple narrowly escaped a harrowing barrage of bullets unleashed on them by their uncle. And Wyoming's beautiful fall weather is about to come to a screeching halt. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. The Bureau of Land Management's controversial Rock Springs management plan for 3.6 million acres of public land probably won't stand up to court challenges because it's unconstitutional. That's what former BLM director and Wyoming native William Perry Pendley told Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines. He said should the state consider suing the BLM over its current draft plan, it would likely succeed because the administration is trying to declare 1.8 million acres of that public land as essentially off-limits. He thinks that what's in the BLM's proposal at present, it would be the equivalent of making it wilderness, which only Congress can do. A proposed hike of Rocky Mountain power rates adds nearly 30 percent on top of the other utility fees many cities in Wyoming charge. Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson reports that in the small Natrona County community of Mills, residents are about to see that city utility rate rise by 5 percent. I talked to uh, Mills Mayor Leah Juarez, who told me that basically because of that set increase that Rocky Mountain Power is doing, which is going to cost the city more than $4,000 more per month, and because of inflation and other costs, they have to make up for some of their losses by taxing the people. A bear oil couple narrowly escaped a harrowing barrage of bullets their uncle reportedly unleashed on them during an unhinged rant over money in September. Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland reports that the couple, Marvin and Stephanie Bagley, had been caring for Marvin's uncle, 73-year-old Melvin Bagley, for several months when Melvin allegedly drove his truck up to theirs near Bear Oil, accused them of stealing from him, and shot Marvin. Although he sustained two bullet wounds to his head, Marvin managed to drive away with his uncle chasing them down, ramming their vehicle, and continuing to shoot. At one point, he was faced with the gates, headed out of the property, and he turned to his wife, who was crouched down and bleeding herself, and said, if that post won't break, we're done for. And he took his Ford truck and he rammed the post and it broke and they were able to get away. A Wyoming judge has paused the prosecution against Melvin Bagley so an examiner can determine whether the man is mentally competent to contribute to his own defense. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Federal Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals has ruled that Wyoming law restricting people from campaigning within 100 yards of a polling place is constitutional. In a Monday morning ruling, the appeals court overturned a 2021 Wyoming Federal District Court decision that had found the Cowboy State's ban on electioneering within 100 yards or 300 feet of a polling place on Election Day violates the First Amendment. Political reporter Leo Wolfson explains. Basically, the appeals court is upholding the current Wyoming law. This this was kind of an issue that's come to head in the last couple of years, especially over concerns over voter intimidation. In 2021, U.S. District Court Judge Nancy Friedenthal ruled that Wyoming's electioneering restriction was unconstitutional. In Monday's ruling, though, the appeals court disagreed and also found banning political bumper stickers within the zone is legal as well. And Wyoming has so far had a delightful October with relatively warm weather and sunny skies. But that's about to end. Meteorologist Don Day told Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi that basically the party's over and the coldest weather of the season will be upon us soon. Starting on Wednesday and Thursday, north and northwest Wyoming are going to get the worst of it to start. We're talking several inches of snow, possibly a foot in the high elevations, and temperatures that are going to get down into the teens and single digits overnight, several nights in a row. Rossi said that round two of the storm will impact southern and central Wyoming starting Friday night and into the weekend and will create travel hazards. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.